it's a great initiative to get to get the kids off the streets. Um, there's so so many kids these days who, who's got nothing to do. They've got you know they've got nowhere to go, and they need something positive that they can do. And being in a place like this, work alongside this charity, getting you know, in boxing gyms, it's great for kids. No. You've been public about some of the speed bumps in the, that you've had over your, your time when you were a young man as well. And, yeah. and boxing, again, it's an old cliche, but it saves lives. Well, it does, but it saved my life without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, I've been, it's all documented, I've been in a lot of trouble in my past. And you know what, when I've, when I've looked through them episodes of my life, <clears throat> the only time I was in trouble was when I was at boxing. When I was out the gym, and honestly, if you, you know, if you, if people who've read my book, they'll understand that. In the gaps that I had for, in breaks from boxing, that's when I got in trouble. Boxing saved my life. It, the, the amount of times it pulled me out of trouble, and the, the problem was with me is I was getting in trouble in the streets, and then started about boxing, and my past was playing catch up with me. But I eventually saw to my adults, and it was boxing that saved my life. And you know, it was 2006 now where I really decided to knuckle down and get back in the gym and my life's just got better and better since uh, since being in a place like this. Now knife crime's a particular issue these days as yeah. well with kids it, and, and other antisocial crime. Uh, yeah. uh, why do you think that boxing does work so well with, with kids that just seem to be completely off the rails? Um, I, I think um, when you come in a boxing gym it demands respect. It demands respect. You know, I'm a I'm a uh, qualified youth worker. I work with uh, I work with kids with with, with problems, uh, um, naughty kids. And you know, when we've had them, we've had them in the gym. And you know, you, straight away there's that there's that respect. They don't give you a lip like like they do when you're outside. You come in the gym and a boxing gym de demands respect. And you know, I think I think boxing as well. I think it, it it's a good way for, for kids to control control the aggression. Do you know what I mean? And they see they see people they see people in the gym. Say for example, when we when, when they've been watching the sparring, and they see people who, who's getting punched and dealing with that and punching back in a, in a controlled way. I think it's just a I think it, boxing is just a great way for kids to release their aggression in, in a controlled way. When did you become a youth worker? When did you go down that path? I did. I think it was when was it? I think 2009 now. Um, yeah. So I, I was in St Helens College. Uh, Past me, youth worker. Um, I did my youth work course. I did a mentoring course, and I, I, you know, in St Helens a few years ago, I was working quite a lot with, uh, with 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 the council. But then I had to put it to one side uh, with, with my own career and focus on that. But that's something I've always, you know, it's something I've always hoped I'll, I'll go back to and and uh, catch up on, on work that I've lost with. You know what I mean? So I'm. Um, I'm looking forward to helping out in any way that I can in, uh, you know, uh, with this charity and, and in boxing gym in the future. That's great stuff. But there is a final chapter yet, isn't there? There's, there's yeah. a, is, there, is it one more dance or what, what, what exactly oh, the, is the, it? That, that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, well, the plan is the, the, there is no plan. I've been, I've been a career for over, tw uh, been a pro for twelve, over twelve years now, and uh, I've always had some type of plan, um, and I've decided now. I had an unhealthy obsession with winning a world title. And I've kind of accepted that that's over now. Uh, the plan is there is no plan and there's no pressure on me, and it's been quite liberating. You know, I feel I feel good. I'm coming in the gym because I want to, not because I have to. And I know that there's definitely one more dance out there, one more big fight, and I'm fighting 15th of November, and then hopefully get that big fight next year. And then who knows? I could go back to my uh, youth work then. So you know, so so yeah.